Don't smoke, don't. but tonight I might take a hit. Please don't get mad, don't get mad. Cause I throw my own show, throw my own. Yeah, I'm getting the bump, getting the bump. And all the money out the door. Yeah. A thousand pre sale tickets, I don't need no help, don't need no help. As a matter of fact, matter of fact, I just book myself. I take a chance on me, I got something to prove, I got something to prove. Looking up on you, looking up on you. I'm the life for the party, life for the party. Mr. VIP, Mr. VIP. They roll out the red car, roll out the red car. Soon as they see, soon as they see. I'm the life for the party, life for the party. Mr. VIP, Mr. VIP. They roll out the red car, roll out the red car. For the MVP, for the MVP. So fresh and so clean. White smoke coat and all white jeans. You know how I do it, sure. Albino alligator. Alligator. I'm high stepping on all my haters. They tried to blackball me. He tried to put this out on my neck. Like we celebrating his birthday today. It's very big 50, getting old now. Getting so, old. so, from I say from the age, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you middle school to now. What, what have, what have, what, what's the most important thing you learned from your father? Most important thing was to put family first, and I say that because family come through for you when you when you really need it, and I learned that because. I got a great support system for my family. Like anything I need, I know that they got it. If I gotta call them for something, I know they got it. So I always put family first. And that's one of the things I'm glad they talking because I learned to, my friends, when I bring them in, they become family too. And you feel me? I put that towards my friends as well. So yeah. So how do you feel about the big feet uh, 50 approaching your father? You see, I see, you say he getting old. So how do, how do you feel about this? Growing as he getting older too, he growing as a, as a person. So he, he learned a lot more stuff. He being more open. You know, as older people get older, they they start to calm down on all the all the rowdiness. So he started to get, get uh, older and he listened more. So uh, he doing it the right way. Uh, he, he ain't getting old and stop doing stuff. Sit down. So uh, uh, I'm glad. Okay, man. Any special shout out to your father? To the family, man. Sure. It's it's the mission one because this, oh, this, this gonna, this gonna be like his documentary blog. So, you know, 
Yeah. Very spicy for him. <laughs> uh, but I want to say happy birthday to you. Uh, glad, glad you're in my life. Made me the man I am. Taught me everything, everything I know about everything. So I appreciate you for that. I love you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Let's party. Let's do it. Oh, dude. There you go, step out. That's what I'm talking about. Turn around and show them how clean y'all, baby. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Show something down. Let's go. I need everybody to put their hands together, y'all, like this. Is. Come on. Come on.
wrong lady, baby. Uh, Deal with you, lady. Uh, Problem in the future, if you ain't still hate. I'm not wasting time with none of this. Dealing with no one set, I'm trying to keep on level head. But I click off like real people, like real people. Hey, how you doing? Hello, Who you got hello. today on the camera? My name is Tiana. I'm Terrence's one and only sister, little sister, by okay. 11 years. That's our inside joke. Okay. So, today we celebrating his birthday, and we know he's turning 50. Mm -hmm. So, 50 is a big impact number on age as far as me. Well, Herman period. Yeah. Like, that's a big number. Yeah. So, how do you feel about that big number hitting your brother? Well, I've seen my brother grow into the man that he is today. Mm -hmm. And throughout that journey, he has built me into the woman I am today. So along his journey, he's impacted so many different lives, in my life especially, because I looked up to him. He mentored me, he told me right from wrong, he told me what to look for, what not to look for. So him hitting 50 is an accomplishment for, for the both of us. It's we a team, it's just me and him. Okay, okay, so, so I'm, I'm hearing growing, the growing together, so. Yeah. You two growing together, how was it? How, how was it with y'all coming up? Did, did you all get along fine? Did you have a lot of arguments, fights? Or, and if y'all did, like, what was like the outcome? We see the outcome, yeah. but that time frame, how did you feel about it? So, how did you feel about your brother, that time frame, the ups and downs? So I think when I was little, I think I, um, I didn't understand it. I didn't understand the little nuggets of knowledge that he was dropping because he would do it in different ways. He wouldn't come out and say, hey, Tiana, today I'm going to teach you about this or Tiana, I'm a, I want you to learn this. It would be, hey, Tiana, I want you to come sit outside with me while I'm doing whatever I'm doing or I want you to ride around with me in the backseat of my, of my candy-coated car and listen to regulators all the time. And then, But I didn't know why. I didn't, I didn't understand why you were taking me all these places while you were exposing me to all these different things and it all came together as, as I became a woman and as we talked about different things and as you mentored me into those different things those little puzzle pieces started to to piece together into the to the big puzzle you know to the to the big picture because okay. I mean it, that's what it was that's what it was growing up okay so uh, it is what's your last special message the birthday was Let's let's get it. Let's give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, I love you and thank you so much for everything that you have, have given me and have given our family and the, the pillar that you have become in our family. Thank you for that. You know, I, I might not always tell you that every day, but just know that you are appreciated. Um, just know that you <laughs> you are the man that my mother raised. And the, the man that my mother wanted you and just because she's not here to see it just know you appreciate it and just know you love we care about you
Now like swag, so the hard to know. Coming today. This is Auntie Sharon. Everybody know me as Auntie Sharon. Which is my favorite thing. Who would have the money is still So I don't like the dream about getting paid. She will rather rock on the rocks that I've made. And now the time to see if I got real. How did she come up? Like, what, what type of. What changes did you see from him being a child to teenage to a grown man? He has really grown. And he has progress through everything. He was a bad little boy. <laughs> but me and his mom got him straightened out, put him on the right path, and he has done great things. Mr. Josh McCain on the keys. My name is Edward on that bass cover. Mr. E. Howard on the drums kicking. Y'all, my name is Gerald Bailey spitting on the vocals, y'all. Thank y'all so much for having us here. We definitely love it. Okay, my last question. In this type of special message that you want to give, shout out to him, let him know. Mm -hmm. However, you, however you feel. You already know how much I love him, but T, I'm going to tell you again. You know Auntie loves you. You my number one. We've been through a lot, and we're going to go through much more, but I love you. Uh, all right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Got the aftermath. How you right. feeling? Hey, it was all love. You know, I'm not even from here, but you know, everybody showed up like I've been here for the, all my life, man. Yeah. What more can I ask for? The grace of man. Yeah. So, how did it feel to feel? Hey, shit. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay. I still got it, baby. I still got it. Okay, man. Ain't no more. I still got it. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up just like this. Oh, hey, yeah. Ain't good. Still got plenty of flu left. Plenty. Come on, man. Everybody had a great time.